Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna give you guys an update on my chin lipo and buckle fat surgery. It's been two months. I got the surgery done June 12th and show you guys my final results. And don't be afraid, like you can DM me if you have any questions and you want to get to me like right away, you can DM me on Instagram. So I can tell that there is definitely a difference and I don't think a lot of people realize how much of a difference I have like in my face. Before before the surgery, I did gain some weight from quarantine and I was just really not happy with the weight gain in my face. Everywhere else, I didn't really mind. I just work out to just maintain and to like tone. But whenever I gained that weight in my face, I just didn't feel like myself. So if you haven't seen my first video, I vlogged the whole experience and the recoveries. And I'm really glad that the recovery is really short for these two surgeries. Like I didn't have to be worried about like being swollen or bruised for that long after a week basically like the bruising went away i did still feel soreness right here under my chin right underneath the chin in this area is what takes the longest to recover because i still felt soreness underneath there so if i like massaged right there under my chin it would feel kind of tender and it would feel sore like in a scale from one to ten it's basically like a zero in pain if you leave it alone you literally don't feel any pain and I didn't feel any pain at all like throughout the whole process like I didn't really feel that much pain especially also because I was taking the medication like the pain meds so the results are not super drastic and they are pretty subtle but that is what I was going for I didn't want anything that was going to be too drastic like I still wanted it to look natural I so saw I know some people don't really like that and they want the drastic results they want to see a big difference but I'm I'm telling you right now that the best way to go is the natural results because later on you might regret like and say that you know you regretted doing it and it's too different and you wish that it could go back to how it was and you can't do anything about it I personally feel like the natural results are like the best because also like you can't really tell that you did anything cosmetically I'm gonna put the before and after picture again so you guys can see that there is a big difference but you cannot tell because I already recovered and I look normal that's the point just looking normal it really like shaved down that area right there even before the weight gain I always felt like I just had like that bulk of like skin whenever I would smile now I feel like I can like smile and you can kind of see like right here like it kind of has like a little bit of a dip whereas before it was kind of like that and so now when I smile I just feel more confident you want to feel confident you don't want the opposite effect whenever you do something so yeah, it just makes me feel a lot more confident when I smile in pictures I take a lot of pictures for like Instagram and all of that So I don't know it just made me feel better and it just made me feel more comfortable And like even though I didn't really lose any weight It kind of feels like that like I felt like I lost weight But without losing the weight if you feel confident the way you are that is amazing I don't feel like even doing things means that you're not confident. I actually feel like it's the opposite i feel like that you will do certain things to improve yourself and to better yourself so that's how i see it i don't see it as oh you're not confident or oh you don't love yourself everybody is self-conscious of like certain things about themselves and i don't feel like there's anything wrong with improving those things that you're insecure about or that you're self-conscious about if it's gonna help you feel more confident i'm not embarrassed i'm not ashamed to talk about any of this stuff because the more people talk about it the more people are aware and informed and they don't go to like the wrong places before you couldn't really see like that much of my jawline I had to like contour I don't have to do that anymore you can pretty much see it now because my recovery was pretty good and I didn't really see any more swelling, I didn't feel like I needed to go back to Mexico for a follow-up. You can always call them like if you have any questions or if I was like experiencing anything weird or anything, I could have called, I could have just called them, but I didn't. Like I haven't actually reached out to them again because I'm just okay with how everything turned out and like my results. Like I just don't feel like I need to call or follow up. 
And then as far as the scars, I can't really see the scars anymore. So they did an incision right here. You could probably tell less because I'm wearing makeup, but I don't actually see a scar right here anymore. And then the other two were right here by my ears and I can't tell where they are. And I can't see them either. So it is right here. It's like a little tiny mark. There it is. So right now it looks a little pink and like red because it's still a little fresh. I can't tell where the incisions are. Nobody can really tell. Inside my mouth, like it doesn't feel different at all. Like it feels the same. Like I can eat the same. I can do everything the same that I was able to do before. I don't really have anything else that I can update you guys on. Again, if you guys have any questions or if I missed anything, let me know in the comment section below. If you want to know more information of like to do the buckle fat, and chin lipo go ahead and watch my other video i'll link it up here it has a lot more information in there but after that first day you feel you're really swollen and you kind of panic a little bit and you feel like the swelling is not going to go down and like you're not going to get the results that you want i'm just going to tell you like don't worry that is normal trust the process but once the inflammation goes down you will see the results it takes one to two months so don't worry so i hope this video was helpful Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye